ITP just is a field that continues to just be more and more exciting. Uh, so for the first time in many years, uh, one of the plenary abstracts here at ASH is an ITP uh, study, an ITP drug, uh, a drug called Fgartigamod, a neonatal FC receptor antagonist. Um, and uh, as you can imagine from it being a plenary abstract, this study was a, a positive study meeting the primary endpoint uh, patients with uh, chronic ITP and persistent ITP in this study, and the primary endpoint looked at those patients, the chronic ITP, that were able to maintain uh, elevated platelet counts um, while receiving the drug, maintain improved platelet counts, I should say, while receiving the drug. Um, and so uh, that's a totally new way to treat ITP. This drug works by reducing the levels of pathologic platelet autoantibodies. Um, and then beyond f uh, there are a number of agents in development. Uh, Iptacopan, which is a complement-directed drug. Uh, Rilzabrutinib, which is a BTK inhibitor. Uh, uh, Mizigitimab, or, or TACO79, um, which uh, is targeted at plasma cells. So it's really an exciting time in ITP. Um, and I think you know, in five years, uh, uh, when we're doing this interview, we'll have probably double, hopefully, probably double the number, number of agents available for our patients with ITP. So.